Oh my god, guys, I'm here to talk about Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston because I just got up. I have not felt like filming book reviews for like the past month and a half, I'd say. The last solid book review I did was A Curse So Dark and Lonely because I just really enjoyed that book and I needed to talk about it. Even though I would have just posted my Shatter Me reaction video review thing, I never actually wrote any notes for that and it was more about my reaction than anything and I did talk about a few things. Again, I would just really wanted to do like a reaction video but it wasn't like a full review. I think it was kind of just like a way for me to ease back into doing reviews but the minute I started listening to this book on audio and that's why I'll just put a photo here of the book cover because I don't have it physically but I did buy a copy and it should be here soon so that I can just hold it and hug it and have it forever. I decided to pick this up and I just devoured this audiobook. I'm so glad that I chose to read it for the newts because I knew I'd be able to get it done in the month spam. It is like the 13th and I just finished it and I mainly listened to it while I was driving to and from work and this was a 12 hour audio audiobook. This audiobook actually felt like I was never getting anywhere with it but I loved it so much. This book got five stars. It is like my new favorite thing ever and I can't wait to talk about it. And guys, I am going to be talking spoilers in this video because I have no chill. No chill whatsoever. So if you haven't read it, I don't know what you're doing. Go out now, go buy it, go get it on the audiobooks and come back and talk to me about it. But I just, I'm so excited. So I have to say like this book did completely take my heart and these characters are just so special to me and it's so beautiful. I just love the whole idea that this is literally America's first son and the Prince of Wales are in a secret relationship and they're both boys and it's so beautiful and they are beautiful. And it was so scary the whole time though because I was worried that we're gonna to get caught the whole time that I could not relax during my read of this because how do you hide this when you're both like the most famous males in the whole entire world? Honestly one of the best story ideas I've ever seen in my life though and I'm so glad Casey McQuiston wrote this because I didn't know I needed it until I read it. So Alex was our narrator in this book and I just loved him so much and he is seriously so relatable like he is more out there than me but just the way he talks and his jokes and his humor and I was just relating to him on so many levels and I just loved him his reactions to just about anything in this story because he was just so extra and I loved it. And like he wants to go into politics and he like wants to help his mother because she's the president and we have a female president and they've completely wiped Trump out of this situation because it went Obama. Ellen, so glad. Don't need no Trump hate in this book. It's an alternate timeline in modernness and I'm just glad we are not tainted by Trump. And Alex is a complete workaholic though. Like he just puts everything into working and to doing stuff and he never sleeps and he burns out so many times in this book. And so many people are like, dude, you need to chill. Like everything's going to be fine. You're only 21. Life is going to keep going if you just take a break. And I also really loved how much he was in crisis when he was trying to figure out if he was straight, bisexual, gay and he was just sitting there being like, should not be so hard to figure out how I feel. And I loved it that when he did come to the conclusion and he was coming out to the people around him, everyone was just like, yeah, like, I mean, we kind of knew that, dude. Like, I mean, from the way you act and the way that you're around people, we all knew that about you. And especially when his mum was just like, Okay, give me a sec. I just gotta go make a PowerPoint so we can chat about this was like the best thing ever Everyone was just really supportive of him and that was just great. So Henry is just so British I have to put that out there right now. The narrator makes him sound so sexy. <laughs> I love him Like he is just so posh like the accent just makes him posh But he was so unexpected most of the time with some of the things he would say and do and there is a lot of swearing in this book So I was happy when Henry swore as well because it was more rare when he swore but the impact of it was just so good and he definitely was so cold at the start of the book but like he opened up like a beautiful butterfly and it was amazing and I just love to see his development as he came into himself and to understand really what he wanted and how he wanted to live his life and it was just a good growth and I feel like his growth in the story was even more than Alex's because Henry has been gay his whole life like he was never just bi like he has been fully gay and he's had to hide that because he's got to keep the image of the crown and he's got to bear heirs and he's got to go enlist in the army and he's just got to be be like the eligible bachelor that all the women want so he's had to hide this part of himself and that's why he is so cold because he never knows if he would accidentally let it slip or if he showed feelings or if he did anything wrong and he's just been traumatized and terrified
terrified his whole life that something could go wrong. And because of this, he just thought that he didn't deserve to be happy ever because being gay was somehow wrong. And the fact that he was born into the royal family for this to happen to him. And he just thought that he just brings so much evil into the family. And it was so heartbreaking to see how sad he was about it and how he does have this darkness in him that, especially because his father died, he's always been really upset and had really bad things happen to him. It's just like my precious baby for him to feel so sad. People suck and you deserve the world, bubba. And just his development to accepting himself and just accepting that he's allowed to be happy was so good in this book. Just saying the enemies to lovers trope speaks to me on so many levels and it was beautiful because they like hated each other at the start. It's funny because like they hated each other but then we find out that it's because they loved each other that they hated each other and I'm like, yeah. They have an argument at the wedding of Philip who is Henry's older brother and then they knock over the $75,000 wedding cake and it's so bad because everyone's talking shit on the news and then they have to fake this friendship that they've had all along and they've got to be seen out and about by the media and they've got to like pretend to be friends and be really close to each other and they're just like oh god I hate this guy and then it's like I love this guy but like as they get to know each other because they're not always seen just in front of the camera they actually start to understand each other and realize they're a lot similar than they thought and just like the text and the emails and just all the things they send to each other because they do live in two totally different countries and they can't always be together and just like how they would have phone calls and messages and everything and it was just such a beautiful relationship that was developed online with them as well and like they are just so perfect like they were meant to be they fit perfectly they just really bring each other up and they can calm each other down and they just everything is balanced with them and just the growth of their relationship was just really good and how they came to depend on each other like for everything just saying it did get very hot so like if you are a younger reader like don't read this until you're an adult because you should not be reading this it is like a new adult though like I mean the cover does make it look really fluffy and even though it was fluffy like the cover is misleading because you start reading and it's like hot damn they get graphic they get graphic a lot it happens multiple times throughout the book I mean I don't mind like I mean it was my first time reading like sex scenes between like male and male though that didn't you know just go to black like most books do so it was different like I mean I didn't mind it I was happy to like you know see them all happy and getting it on but <laughs> it was a new experience for me as well but there was a lot of fluff there was definitely more fluff than smut but damn the smut was like strong. I was really sad though that they had to hide their relationship all the time and it's like they had to because of how famous they were but it was just so sad and I did like the fact that there was no miscommunication like praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because it was them against the world. It wasn't them being all like, oh, does he love me or does he not love me? Are we together? Are we not? No. There was none of that shit. They talked. They always talked. I mean, there was a few times when they kind of had moments where they just like didn't message for a while, but it's because they were going through shit and trying to understand shit. And definitely my favorite moment was when Alex realized that he actually does love Henry and has always loved him. He just wanted to tell him and every time he was just like, oh, I can't tell him. I can't tell him. Too much depending on this relationship. It's probably not going to end well, but he was about to tell him and Henry literally fled and went back to England and Alex is just like oi this is not on so like he literally flew after him was outside of his house screaming like Henry let me in you bloody fucking bastard and then they had their big talk where it's just like how's this gonna end and Alex is just like I love you and if you want me to leave you make me and then he's all just like I hate you and then they're like having this moment and they're happy and they're together and I was worried because I'm like please don't be over they stayed pretty solid throughout the whole book though and just saying all the side characters were also amazing and they all added to the story and no one felt similar or blah so June was Alex's big sister and she was just great like she was very supportive and I loved the way that they would have their conversations and talk and just have a lot of fun and Nora was the other part of that trio who was like both of their best friends even though like Alex and Nora did have a thing but they kind of used that as a publicity thing for being in the White House so like all three of them are always together and like June's the emotion and Nora's like the fact side of things so they both got elements that are really good when they're comforting people and they're funny and then Henry's got B who is his older sister and Philip who is his older brother who even though Philip is a douchebag B is great she is a recovering drug addict and that was really interesting too about how that was like added into the family aspect of being in the crown of just it being too much and how she stopped because Henry asked her to and like this their relationship's so cute and Paz is Henry's best friend and he's like instantly obsessed with June and I loved it so much like that little side relationship relationship and I think there might have been a thing with Nora there as like a threesome kind of I loved it. 
that's it. I loved by the end, they're all just like the group of six, like they're the gang, like everyone's like, yeah, these six bitches in there. And like that night that they had when they went out with all the matching kimonos and they got so pissed. And then Henry was singing, I make a supersonic man out of you. It was great. We got to get to the sad moment though, when the world found out about Alex and Henry and it got leaked. I was so sad because Henry was just dying. Like he was dying inside because he had so much shit to deal with and to see all the comments and messages and stuff that was happening because at first they were making it sound really negative, but Alex and Henry did remain strong. Like they were like, we wanted this to happen, just not so soon. But they're like, we're going to tell them the truth. Like we're not going to deny that this happened because we love each other. And all also, when Alex had to go in and talk to his mum that first time, and she's just sitting there and she's just like, I'm so sorry, honey, that this happened to you, but is it going to be forever? And Alex is like, yes. And then she's just all the support. She's like, I will go down with this shit fighting for you. And I'm just like, Ugh. I was so sad and happy at the same time because I'm like, thank God, because like the president and the royal family could be total douches in this situation but thank god his mum was amazing and like that's parenting for you even if you are the president of the united states and i love so much because after this all happened zara literally forced alex onto a plane and they jetted off to england to go talk some shit into the royal family and the way that henry stood up for himself against philip and he was just screaming shit at him and he was like yeah bitch what are you gonna do huh 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 and i was just like yeah that's right babe tell him and it was a total smackdown but also the meeting with the queen how she's all just like oh you know photos can be like faked and we can totally bury this under a rock and the way that henry's mother too because she's been really distant since their father died five years ago she's like i'm coming in to fight and she's like you know what there's so much shit i got on you mum, that i could totally get the monarchy like disabled and the queen's like well i got no choice and it's like you got no choice you choose your family over the stupid ass people of your country and then that moment when like they found out that all the public just wanted them to be happy and supported them and when they opened the window and there was that big crowd I was like a moment a beautiful beautiful moment and oh my god the fact that Zara and Sean were engaged and they were like the secretly dating and I really should have picked up on this a lot sooner when she was all like oh it's a long distance thing and then she got the engagement ring and I'm just like oh my god and then I was like it wouldn't be Sean with it but then when she's like I'm calling his private line I was just like I was so excited because I'm like yes and the way she's like get your ass in here bitch and I'm like oh my god because Zara is a tough one she is a toughie and the fact that she's been Sean who was like the coolest guy ever it was like highlight and then we're getting to the end and it's the like election and then we're finding out all that shit about the guy on the opposite side Richards or something because Raphael Luna is like a character in the book and then we thought he betrayed them but then he didn't betray them and then we find out that he like nearly got assaulted by Richards so they're like we do not want this guy to be the president because of the awful things that he's done and when they're having the presidential run and we're freaking out because they're like getting seats but Richards also getting seats and then it's coming down to Texas when they had the first election election four years ago they didn't win Texas which was really hard because that's where they come from and generally whoever's running your state of residence will vote for you it didn't happen so we're getting to the end and I'm sitting there freaking as I'm like oh my god it's down to Texas and then they won they won and everyone was partying and I was just like Ugh. It was like so good. I'm like had an exhilarating ride because I finished listening to the audiobook like this morning. I love it so much. This book was just amazing. Like I'm so glad I decided to listen to it and I already said you need to read the audiobook if you have not read this book yet. I mean read it physically too. I bet it's just as good but it's such a good story. It's such good characters. So glad so glad and I just oh haven't had a contemporary move me this much for like ever but anyway guys thanks for watching this review I hope you enjoyed I don't need to go to gym now because I think I had enough exercises just by moving around ah, I love it so much but anyway guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time bye